Hey you guys, welcome to my crazy idea of Friday night virtual dinner during COVID-19. Um, tonight I decided we would do a summer dinner. Do you want to take your mask off? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we need, uh, I'm supposed to wear my um, mask by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm in my community. Center area. I was supposed to wear my community in the I hope I would get in trouble. I am literally in a position where, and I'm so lucky. I feel myself. I, I'm blessed. I have a community grill, which my kids grew up where their mother did not have a community grill, but now I do. It's all good. Um, tonight I'm going to do together with you a. Classic, classic summer dinner. So my kids grew up, I would build vegetables all summer long in a basket. And so for you guys, if you can purchase a basket, a grilled basket, I'm all about it. You can do your vegetables and you don't have to like slice them perfectly and stand over the grill and flip them and flip them. Yeah. You do a basket. And you could do, like, it's super healthy. It's very, very healthy dinner. Um, what you got in there? I did. And do whatever your farmer's market has, right? So I did zucchini and peppers and mushrooms and... Um, what seasonings? Rosemary. Oh, Kate is so funny. So I'm walking down the street. This is this is my California life. I go for my a cup of coffee, and Kate lives down the street, who's my friend here, and she grows rosemary. And I'm like, she won't mind. I picked some of your rosemary today. And I put it's it all in. over the place. <laughs> I love it. I love it smells rosemary. so good. I love rosemary. And then, so I'm making halibut in these yummy, delicious, easy, easy, easy. You guys, you could do this. I promise you, you could do this. Um, halibut in tin foil. And I did an amazing hike yesterday with another girlfriend. And as I was leaving her house, she said, Megan, do you want some lemons or avocado? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so I literally picked the lemons from her trees, the avocados, and then she said, I also have grapefruit. Do you like grapefruit? I'm like, oh my God. I picked the grapefruit for my breakfast. So this is California living, and I hope your summer, so the summers are different, right? The summers are really different right now. I grew up, I grew up at the Jersey Shore. My parents somehow, someway found money to rent a shit ass, I always say a shit ass bungalow every summer for two weeks. And we were lucky. That was a lucky thing. And so we would drive to the Jersey Shore every summer. And my mother was a cool chick and food was important. It was always important, right? And so she would go to the bakery in the morning before we loaded the car and she would get fresh rye bread. And to this day, rye bread to me is like the best breakfast. I slather it in, in um, butter and that's my favorite breakfast. And then she would go to the she would, what she would call the German deli because they had the best German um, potato salad and she would get the cold cuts. So I grew up where we would drive to the Jersey Shore and she would have this amazing spread. And so she wasn't the kind of mother that would say peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No, we didn't do that. So she would like call out to you and say, what do you want, babe? You want uh, <laughs> rye bread or you want pumpernickel? Because they had these amazing pumpernickel rolls. Helen shares and says, and she's not even Jewish. <laughs> Actually, she called it Jewish rye. Ger Gerties? I, Someone asked about Gerties. I, says not I, not there I anymore. Love you guys. I can't <laughs> see. I can't see what you say. <laughs> question mark. <laughs> and then they said not there anymore. But 
but she was a cool chick. Like, like we just grew up with really great food. And when I think about like now and what we're going through with COVID and how families are like, their summer vacations are different. By the way, they're similar to how I grew up, where we would go on a family vacation, you pack the car. And six kids, okay, picture this. I don't know what kind of, I don't know how many people remember this stuff, or certainly now kids don't, but I think we're going back there. Six kids, load the car up, no seat belts. We didn't have a, we didn't have a, a station wagon. So my favorite seat, and they called me Space Cadet or Magoo, Space Cadet, my favorite seat was the shelf at the end of the car where the, the you know, remember where the window was on the slant? <laughs> that was my favorite seat. <laughs> and my mother was like a chain smoker. She would say, make room for Megan, make room for Megan. And I would climb up and I would lie there. And on, during the day, I would look up at the clouds and the formation of the clouds. And at night, I would look up at the stars and the black sky. And that was my, that was my Thanks. That was my thing. <laughs> and Helen we, says six kids, no air conditioning. Six kids. Oh, absolutely no air conditioning. And how cool was she? If she somehow figured out a way to make meals for us. And now I'm cooking on a grill. We didn't have, we, you know, maybe once in a while we did the grill. But what would happen, and by the way, next week I'm going to talk about summer salads and cold salads. Because when you don't have air conditioning, and you're a mother of six kids, you don't want to, and she, by then she was working, you didn't want to heat up the kitchen, right? And so you'd have cold meals. So, I think it's relevant now. I think families now are going to do more car trips, and now we call it Airbnb, but way back in the 70s, 70s, we would rent bungalows. And so she would pack Clorox, she would pack our own sheets. And I think we need to do that now, right? So you, you do an Airbnb, but then it was a shit ass bungalow. And so she would send us off to the beach. I mean, we could have drowned, but we didn't. And we would come back at the end of the day, the first day she would have cleaned the entire house. It would smell of, she was a chain smoker. It would smell of Clorox and True Blue. <laughs> and then we would have an amazing two weeks. And I think mothers now, I think that's what we're gonna do, right? I mean, I think, vacations yeah. are gonna be different now. I, I don't know, I don't think people, We'll stay at hotels ever for at least for now i think so, Meg, megan says loved watching the stars on the way to the cat skills from from that <laughs> that area <laughs> so this is a, a summer dinner that i made for my three sons their entire lives every summer every summer which was very by the way very different from my summers um i would suggest you buy a basket a grill basket and, Tell us what's in here, too. In and the... so this is, I love halibut. It could be any fish. And I slice, I like a variety of um, citrus, lime, lemon, orange, a little bit of olive oil. And what's fun is when you serve this, you, you might want to put it on a platter, and you put your vegetables, and you put these little packets that your guests can then put on their own plates and open up themselves. And so you guys, this is all in my second book, Heart to Table, which is about, um, I decided to do this book about menus and seasons. So this is in, I think it's in my, it's in my birthday book party uh and and i oh, i hate doing this because i hate this but all proceeds it's on amazon all proceeds go to a food pantry in here in venice beach um because 
it's beyond sad to me that um, people are, our numbers are up 70%. So people are food sensitive. I don't know what the word is now. It's sad. So anyway, the recipe's here. They're talking about beer and rosé, rosé all day. <laughs> you got it. Magoo, all your Irish cousins have joined. Oh, my God, I love you guys. <laughs> they were all there in the shit-ass bungalows with us shit with ass. lots of beer. So, shit-ass, <laughs> shit-ass bungalows. And so, so the other idea, when you think about as a parent, so I'm like across the top, lying across the top. Could you imagine my father was a, they were both chain smokers. If he had to slam on the brakes, I would have been flying. I would have been like the guy from the circus shooting out of the, like the cannon. <laughs> I can almost see my mother saying, oh Jesus Christ, there goes Megan. Pull over, John. Let's, let's see if we can find her. <laughs> and and then was, everyone's telling, telling me they love, they, they love your book. Everyone's saying how much they love it and how easy the recipes are to follow. Recipes. And so I'm, I'm crazy about balsamic vinegar. And I'm also really particular about where you buy it. Modena. Modena, Italy that makes the best balsamic. So grill your vegetables. Put them on a really beautiful it's not so platter. Good. Yeah. This is this is actually this is like a really super healthy dinner. <laughs> super healthy. And I like to spread balsamic vinegar on top. And when you serve this, it's kind of pretty to do it like this. Put your vegetables out there. And then guests can come and take their own fish to their own plates. I don't want too much time. Kate, how much time have I? I don't, I never want to spend too much time. Ooh, baby. Oh, You're I good. wish. Six, Smell the dill. It smells so good. So I love dill in the summer. Rosemary, as I said, I, I, I got rosemary from Kate's mm. garden. I got the I got the lemons from my other friend's garden. I'm telling you guys, I love living in California. It's beyond, beyond, beyond cool. Here we go. And so everyone can take their own. It smells so good. Can you smell the dill? Yeah. Amazing. So I want to end with, and then I like to, so balsamic vinegar, what you can do with balsamic vinegar is you can cook it on your stove to get a little thick, and then you drizzle it. Oh my gosh. You drizzle it on top of your vegetables, and there you go. There's dinner. So food for thought. Is it too late for food for thought? Go for it. Hi, Miguel. Love you, honey. Um, my idea for food for thought this week is, you know, I get a little, I can get a little deep. I am a champion sleeper. I go to bed at night. I wake up at five. I'm a champion sleeper. With COVID, I'm struggling. And I know a lot of people are struggling. And so I have some ideas about if we're struggling with sleep, one of the things I'm learning is magnesium is really helpful. And so sometimes if you can, CVS, Amazon, buy the bag of Epsom salt. Do you want to go get it? Should I? <laughs> and then you have a question. Where is the um, balsamic vinegar from again? Modena. Modena is the best. <laughs> balsamic. <laughs> and if Maggie's watching, my daughter-in-law who I worship, um, they make really good olive oil. <laughs> so here's my idea. I was just going to throw out ideas because I, I was a champion sleeper. I never, ever had a problem sleeping. I'm struggling, and I know a lot of people out there are struggling. And I want to be helpful. I think this is really a hard time. So, CVS, Amazon, Epsom salt, 
at night before you go to bed, turn off the TV, turn off the phone really early on, two hours before. Take a bath in Epsom salt. I love um, eucalyptus and spearmint or lavender. Um, here's another thing that I started. I bought powdered magnesium and I take a spoonful and I add it to a cup of hot chamomile tea at night before I go to bed. I used to I used to go to bed with like a bottle of wine. Now I go to bed <laughs> with chamomile tea and magnesium. It's supposed to help us. I think it does. Um, I found this at my natural, um, oh my God, this is beyond sad. I mean, you guys, this is a weird time we're living in. My natural uh, CVS, but it was not in California, we, we, we do CVS, but we also have a, a, an amazing pharmacies. It got, it got beaten up with the um, Black Lives Matters. Like I went there the other day to get more, and it was blocked up, it was like boarded yeah. up, it was beyond sad. So, if you can find this magnesium spray, I spray it on my body at night. I think it really helps with muscle relaxant. You want to relax your muscles before you go to bed. That's basically what it is. Um, and here's another idea. So, one of the things that I'm struggling with is sometimes I go to bed fine and then I wake up in the middle of the night and then I'm like, oh my God, two o'clock. Uh, and I'm wide awake. And I have a meditation coach that helps me. And so one of the things she's been teaching me is a breathing technique. And I'm going to share it with you. And then we'll end on that. I, I hope I didn't take too much time. It's about breathing. So you want to fill your stomach. Fill your chest and then exhale, okay? So I'm gonna do it with you. You inhale, it's the only time you wanna like make your stomach fat. <laughs> fill it. And then fill your chest with air, and then exhale in a rhythm. And then what she told me, which I didn't know, I'm learning, I'm all about learning, I know nothing, I'm, this, is, this is wellness 101 with me, because I'm new to all this is she said you exhale with your mouth open so try it i'm only going to do three you could do that for as long as you need to do that in your bed to help you go to sleep i love you guys thank you for joining me Next week, I'm, I'm gonna continue on the summer idea. And next week, I'm, I decided I'm gonna, like, I love the idea of going to other countries, but really, next week, I'm just gonna keep with summer, and I'm gonna keep with cold recipes that you don't have to, my poor mother, like, we didn't have air conditioning. She, and she was a working woman by then. Recipe where you don't even have to put the oven on. Love you guys. Good night. Have a nice weekend.